Mike Perlak here to entertain you with the help of The Who. Don't cry, don't close your eyes, it's only Teenage Wasteland, yeah, 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 Teenage Wasteland. <laughs> and a concept of teenage, the, 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 the concept of teenage, uh, or will come up later in the video. <laughs> but I, uh, I just, I had an anecdote to share, uh, an experience I had at my new job, <laughs> my second job, uh, second job. So this guy came in <laughs> to, the, to the store where I'm working part time, and um, <clears throat> he's talking casually to the woman at the counter. You know, obviously he comes in there pretty regularly and. He says, yeah, I just got back from D.C. <laughs> so, I'm like, uh, as in Washington? <laughs> He's like, yeah. Like, yeah, they, they're, they're, uh, he was in charge of helping with a party. They were throwing for some uh, South Korean uh, leader. And he was he was so, you know, whatever about the whole thing. <laughs> but, you know, ho-hum when he was... Uh, uh, talking about it but I'm not surprised I mean <laughs> morale is very low <laughs> over there I, I would imagine <laughs> because that that's what I said to him it says uh yeah DC is uh oh, what's that place like these days <laughs> and that's what he said uh, I was just in charge of a party for some South Korean leader <laughs> that I just found out today <laughs> and watching the news that uh South Korea now has nukes, <laughs> and uh, yeah, <laughs> but his whole reason for being at the store, because the hotel he was staying at did not have the wine that his wife liked, <laughs> and I'm, which left me, left me there to wonder, did I just meet Nancy Pelosi's boy toy? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, personally, I would not <laughs> be <laughs> Nancy Pelosi's boy toy. I mean, if the word toy is in your title, that would signify some kind of fun. <laughs> but <laughs> um, I don't. I don't think uh, any 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 uh, sane, uh, physically healthy man <laughs> would be, have fun being Nancy Pelosi's. <laughs> Boy toy, but I do remember when she became uh, house drinker, uh, speaker, <laughs> house speaker. <laughs> Boy, in the time that uh, she uh, became speaker to, to now, she literally be turned into a corpse. It's no wonder these folks don't see any problem with child gender mutilation. <laughs> I mean, look at them. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm working a second job now. And uh, that's why I, I, the second job is kind of the reason why I kind of felt obligated to shave. <laughs> I'm surrounded by all these damn teenagers. <laughs> I told you the concept of teenage would come up again in this video. So I felt, uh, I felt obligated to blend in better with my <laughs> fellow co-workers at this job. <laughs> It's a great second job. I personally couldn't afford to shop there on a regular basis. It is convenient if I you know, forget to get bananas or something from Aldi's. I can pick them up from there, you know, no problem. But uh, it's not a bad job as long as you know when to bite your tongue. <laughs> you're, you're dealing with the general public, so it's important that you know when to bite your tongue. <laughs> if you can handle that, it's... Uh, it's a decent uh, second job to have. But yeah, I just learned that, uh, watching the news today that uh, South Korea has got nukes now. So, you know, World War II destroyed Western Europe. If there is a World War III, it will destroy Eastern Europe. Mark my words. And who, and who set the stage for all that? A little thing known as liberalism and globalism. Yep, the, those are the two uh, entities most directly responsible for if World War III starts and 
Eastern Europe becomes what Western Europe became during World War II. Ooh. <laughs> but, uh, like, uh, JFK is rolling in his grave. You know, the Kennedy name is nothing more than a brand. A brand for the Democratic Party to sell and trade for power and control and votes. The Re Republican Party does not own the Trump name. That is the fundamental difference. Donald John Trump owns the Trump name. Or anybody who buys stock <laughs> in his investments. <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, but then that's how it's supposed to work. This is why uh, it's not fun to be owned. <laughs> It's why uh, human beings have died for the concept of freedom throughout human history. I mean, who the hell would want to be owned? <laughs> the Kennedy name is definitely owned now. It's not. It's 2023. It's not 1963. The funny thing about that, and I already talked about this uh, video <clears throat> a while back. Um, Kennedy ran as a Democrat because that was the only way he was going to win. Duh. He ran as a Democrat because he knew that was the only way he was going to win. <sighs> Funny thing about that is, uh, he never did, he never, he didn't want to become a politician. His father forced him to step up when the, his brother died. He just wanted to be a political writer. That was his ambition. But, nope. People believe the hype about all that crap. Oh, you had an affair with uh, Marilyn Monroe and other stupid crap like that. Guy had Addison's disease. I highly doubt he's going to be able to <laughs> maintain an affair with Marilyn Monroe with Addison's disease. <laughs> Look it up. <laughs> what you have to deal with with that crap. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. But, uh, uh, I might do another video tonight. I'm going to jog to uh, Adam Ant's uh, Antics in the Forbidden Zone tonight. I might do another video then. Mike Parallax. Thank you for your time. Signing off for now. <laughs>